Hello lovelies, how are you all doing? Beautiful morning, afternoon and beautiful evening depending on where you are at this moment you are watching this video. I welcome you back to my plodder soap experiment. Okay, I've been making a lot of brown soap experiments and teaching but this is the best of it all okay i have to record this video actually this particular day was a live video a whatsapp live video live training yes but i was recording from the other end okay so i just measured in my palm oil and this is my palm kernel oil depending on the factory or the company the type of oil they may tend to use but this is actually how palm oil and palm kernel oil are being used in factories for plodders all right so the palm oil i used was the palm oil i bleached for uh, people that were asking how does a company bleach their palm oil for plodder production for machine production okay so i just added the oil two oils together i kept it and this is i measured my caustic soda and this is the water i will use to dissolve the caustic soda i am measuring i'm sorry if you're not seeing the measurement but like i said this is an experiment video and um for more information for more inquiry or any other thing contact the number on the screen via whatsapp somebody will attend to you okay i'm going to stir the the caustic soda make sure that it dissolves and cleared before i continue mixing now this particular method is semi-hot i'm not using hot method i didn't use hot method because this is just it's very simple uh, amount of oil that i'm using okay so like some people they don't like using hot process for their production i have said this before because they see hot process as a way of you know adding more cost to their cost of production because you you buy whatever source of heat you may you may you know use okay so i've added the caustic soda gradually into the oil i'm going to mix it to achieve a trace even though we all know that palm oil traces so fast okay but i'm still going to mix it for everything to mix well to combine well that is a trace when it's when they are mixed well i'm going to cover okay i'm going to cover it now the reason why this particular uh, soap is like this is because i used an equal amount of uh, palm oil and uh, palm kernel oil okay like i said depending on your on in your company's formulation it is you that would determine the quantity and the type of oil you that is you know available that is cost uh, effective for you i have done so many experiments on this brown soap i was using different types of oils at different percentages okay now all these experiments i'm doing on brown soap or on most uh, products are um are contract, call contract uh, videos that is why most time i don't usually give the exact measurement because this is somebody's job i'm just showing the people out there how these things are being done okay so i'm going to add in a filler okay um it's not a must you add like some people they don't add but this particular filler when you add it to your soap and plod it the soap is going to come out soft very very soft so some of these company they don't add too much bulk energy they don't add uh, fillers to their soap just their oils and their caustic soda and water their fragrance that is all okay but some they will add more of these fillers and the uh, bulk energies okay depending on your formulation now the soap has gel can you see how transparent this is and this is how this soap is going to be for as long as it stays on your customer's counter as long as it stays in your uh, store the factory store where they store the soup as long as it stays wherever you may keep it it doesn't change color it doesn't fade the, the the smell doesn't change and this particular experiment actually the person came in person to pick this soup and the person could not believe that the smell was you know as if they added fragrance but i did not add any fragrance for this experiment okay so fragrance in soup making is just just an, an 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 additive is not a must so i've added the f the the filler into the other one then can you see how liquid it is how liquefied it is i'm going to go ahead and pour it into the mold and um a mold now one thing with adding uh uh this particular add the filler is that 
it will not change the color of your soup if it is soda ash it will change the color of this soup to something whiter but this particular additive it does not uh, sorry filler it does not change the color of your soup it does not change it at all okay so i prefer using this particular filler even if at all i want to use but it will make the soup come out soft okay so this is it the next day and uh, i want to unmold and show you people how transparent this or uh, transparent rather this soup is without adding alcohol without adding sugar without adding any other uh, thing solvent or any other ingredient that will make it look transparent all right so like this is a secret i reveal to this person that is why i'm not giving it out uh freely like that okay because this is what we usually do whenever we go for machine installation. Okay. So I'm going to call the soap and show you all how it is. The day I did this video was at my closing time from work. And today is in the morning, midday. Okay. Yes, midday, not really morning. Midday. So this is it. I'm cutting the soap. If you notice this particular one I'm cutting, it's a kind of uh, soft. Not that it's soft. It's not as hard as the one I did not add anything. Okay. Just, it's a kind of, um, it's not firm. Yeah, it's not firm. If you use that one to wash, it's going to finish fast than the other one. But the one I did not add filler, it's very, very firm. Very, very hard. Okay. So this is how the soap is, how shiny it is. Okay. For those of you that have been asking me, how do I achieve this? I have explained how you can bleach your palm oil. And if you want to really know how to make this type of soap for your business, contact the number on the screen. Thank you, be safe and bye.